and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing my ABC TBR and see what I've read, what I haven't read, <laughs> what I have DNF'd, what I've changed potentially. Um, I will count the books that I have DNF'd in my tally of books read and I think there's one book that I am currently reading that I'm also going to count as read because even if I don't finish it it will still be counted towards my red amount. <laughs> Does that make sense? It does, I think. Um, also, I apologise about the quality of the ABC video. Um, it was my first video that I ever filmed and um, I used to film with the front camera, which wasn't great. But without further ado, hopefully I've managed to include the video right here like at the bottom of the screen. If not, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get on to it. Also, I used to have an like, um, opening screen, which I didn't keep. Um, not sure why, but it was cute. I will skip to the first book. So for the letter A, we have Angel, Angel's Blood by Nalini Singh. I DNF that. I did a try the first chapter challenge um earlier this year and that book was included in that and i didn't keep it i didn't like what i read so um that one is a dnf and i'm counting it <laughs> for b we have a blood kiss by gr ward i still haven't read that <laughs> um i'm thinking of doing a try the first chapter kindle edition with the ones i haven't read from this list because um I've already filmed this video, lost the footage, it happens, it's fine. So we're redoing it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I haven't read this, I believe this is about vampires potentially, I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on this, but I will be reading that one with um the others. For C we have Courts of Shadows by C.N. Crawford. I haven't read that one either. But I am very interested in reading this. Um, I really, really want to get into seeing Crawford's books. I have the first of every single series she has out <laughs> currently sitting on my Kindle. So um, it'd be nice if I um, got to them eventually. <laughs> For D, we have Dirty We Get Friends by Aiden, by Aiden O'Neill. I still haven't read this. I still want to read this, um, I believe. This is a bully romance. Um, it's set in an academy somewhere. It's quite short. Um, <laughs> I do want to get to this. And I'm sure I eventually will. Hopefully by the end of the year. For E we have Envy by Alana Perchvik. Perchvik. Not sure how to pronounce that last name. Um, I have not read that yet. But I'll include that one in the try first chapter canon edition for f we have feather by olivia wilderstein i have not read that <laughs> either um i do really want to read her books they is similar to seeing crawford's books i have many many of their books on my kindle still haven't tried them but i am very very interested in their books because they all sound really up my alley um so hopefully <laughs> i read them before the end of the year I don't think I'll include that one in the uh, first chapter challenge because I do want to get to those. And for G we have Guild by Reverend Kennedy. I have read Guild <laughs> by Reverend Kennedy. Um, I give it three stars. I didn't really like it. I will be carrying on with the series because I own them on my Audible app. So um, I'll read them that way. H is... House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Maas. Um, I have read that. I did a, a whole review on that book um, earlier this year when I read it. I don't I don't currently own a physical copy of it just because I'm waiting for Fairy Loot to release the matching edition to the other two. Um, and I wasn't the biggest fan and I don't want to have multiple editions of Crescent City because I don't particularly like that series. <laughs> if you want more of my thoughts on that book, do watch the video <laughs> where I review it. I is Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. I have read that one too. I 
liked it a lot. Um, I think I'm very attached to characters because the movie Interview with the Vampire with Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise and Kristen Dunst and Antonio Banderas was one of my favorite movies growing up. I absolutely adored it. That's what kick-started my love for vampires really. Um, so reading the book was an experience. Um, I've been watching the show as well, uh, which is very, very, very good. I highly recommend the show. And I have a different view on the movie and on the show and on the book now. Um, it all ties in together <laughs> very nicely. I'm very happy I've done it in that order, I think. Watching the show helps you visualise some of the things that happen in the book, for example, because the book is, re is told through Louis's eyes, so you don't really see anything else that happens around, um, which the show gives you a bit more perspective on the other characters, which I quite enjoyed. Um, but yeah, this one was good. I give that one three stars, and I did the same with House of Flame and Shadows. <laughs> that was also three stars. And Guild by Owen Kennedy. That was also three stars. For J, I had nothing, um, because I didn't own a book that I signed with a J at the time. I'm including Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Jenna Dawson for that letter. Um, I've read that one and that was two stars. I didn't particularly like it. Um, it would have been a one star if one if it weren't for the for the last battle scene because that was pretty epic. But I did, I wasn't a big fan of that. <laughs> for K we have King of Immortal Tithe by Ben Alderson. I have not read that. <laughs> Haven't read that one either. Um this will be in the try the first chapter challenge, I think, because I have no idea what it's about. All I know is that it's queer and um that's it. <laughs> It's got face. For L we have Legends and Lattes by Charles Baudry. I just finished that book actually um, and I gave it three stars as well. God. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan. I don't get what all the fuss is about. It's very average. Um, I wouldn't. I don't want to continue with the series to be honest. But um, I read that one. That's one more. For M we have Masters of Death by Olivia Blake. I've also read that one and that was also three stars for me. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan. I don't like Olivia Blake's writing. I read three books by her this year and I'm out. Um, that was enough. That one was fun. The audiobook is so extra. The guy who voices Death is made it so much better. Like if it weren't for that guy, I would have given it two stars, I reckon, because it's so confusing. It just goes in circles. But I think that's that's what most Olivia Blake's book do from what I've gathered, <laughs> what I've read so far this year. For and we have The Never King by Nikki Sand Crow. I have not read that one, but I really want to read that one. Um I'm hoping to read it soon ish. I would I'm thinking maybe October because it's like a dark retelling of Peter Pan, I think. Um, but I'm very excited about that one. And I think it's also Rivers Harem, which is one of my favorite genres, subgenres of fantasy romance. So for O, we have One True Loves a by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've read that one too. That was also three stars. I think all the books I've read have been three stars, except for um, the June Dawson book. Um, this one was good. I liked the story. I'm very happy with the ending. I know a lot of people didn't like the ending, but I like the ending. Um, I would have been very mad if she'd ended up with the other guy. Next is P with Priest by Sierra Simone. No, I have not read that one. I don't even know if I will read that one. Um, I've unhauled all her books before I moved um, because... I found that with Sierra Simone, I am intrigued by her books. Her writing is okay, her s smut scenes are brilliant, but everything else is a bit, it doesn't, I don't know, it's not enough to make me interested in all of the books and I never give them a high rating either, so I feel like it'll be the same with Priest. Um, I might, I think I'll include it in the one chapter challenge as well because I don't particularly want to read it um but if I do read it it will be in October because priests and like nuns and stuff they just remind me of Halloween. <laughs> For Q we have Queen of Empire by H.R. Moore. I've recently unhauled that book um it hasn't got great reviews on Goodreads and I read the synopsis and it just does not intrigue me at all so I 
<laughs> completely deleted it from my Kindle. Um, I've and hold that. So I'm going to count it as DNF because technically I haven't even tried it. But I made those for R. Oh, for R, we have Red Rose Academy by M. Guida. Um, I'm currently reading that actually. I'm halfway through. Um, I'm liking it so far. I'm going to count it as red because even if I don't finish it, it will still be in the red pile like I would have tried it. Um, I'm liking the writing style. I am intrigued to see where it's going to go. It's called Vampires. I thought I thought it was like a Sleeping Beauty retelling or like a Beauty and the Beast retelling or like a fairy tale retelling of some sort, but it really, really isn't. It's about vampires. <laughs> Not mad about it. Not mad about it. I do love me some vampires. For S we have, oh, The Serpent in the Wings of Night um, by Carissa Broadband. I have not read that one yet. Um, I do have it on my Kindle. I keep putting this book on my TBRs and not reading. <laughs> yeah, the slump is still slumping, um, but I am very, very much interested in this. I believe this is like The Hunger Games with Vampires or something like that. I think that's what it says on the inside of the dust jacket. Um, I have it on my Kindle. But I also bought the fancy editions from Fairy Loot and I'm waiting for them to arrive um, <laughs> whenever they are sent. But I will be reading this for sure. For T, we have Top Secret by Eric Nandy and Serena Bowen. I have read this and I also get it three stars. Um, it was okay. It wasn't my favourite of the this author duo. I I liked it, but I felt like it was a bit um it was lacking something. And look, I didn't feel the chemistry between the characters, and I felt like it took a little bit too long to kick in properly. It wasn't that interested in their in their love story, which um is a shock because I've absolutely adored um the him and us series um by them. By this author duo, and obviously Al Kennedy is one of my favorite authors. And I have a few of Serena Bowen's books, which I will be giving um, a try next year probably. But yeah, I have read this one. For you, we have Undead Men Tell No Tales by Karina, by Corrine, I don't know, Corrine, I don't know what the last name is, I can't really read it on this, but it's the on the screen now. Um, I have not read that. <laughs> I've owned this book for at least five years. I've had it for the longest time and I still haven't even tried a single sentence from it. So it'll be in the try the first chapter challenge Kindle edition um, that I'll be doing shortly. Oh, for V we have The Vanishing <laughs> by um, Carla Nicoli, I think her name is. Yeah, I haven't read that. <laughs> The thing with this one is that to read it, I need to read the first book as well, so Lauren Lust, because um, this is the sequel to Lauren Lust, which, um, yeah, I'm regretting putting <laughs> the finishing on um, the list at the moment, but that's fine. I'll try the first chapter of Lauren Lust and see if I like it. If I like it, I'll try and read them both, because I think book three is also out. Um, book three has a blue cover, I think, the rose of blue on this. Um, anyway, uh, and if not, then I'll just DNF the book and then DNF Lauren Larson and get rid of Vanishing. For W, we have White Porn by Ingrid Seymour. I DNF that. <laughs> I DNF that book. I really didn't like the writing style. Um, the story wasn't going anywhere. Like it just, it did a 180 within a couple of chapters. Like it started off with something and then it just changed to something else and I... I <laughs> The pacing was very off and it's a very short book and I, I was very thrown by the, the plot the, by the plot like twisting and changing direction and um, it was very strange. For X we have the fox and a dryad by Kim Graves. Um, <laughs> I haven't read that either. I believe that book was, I thought that book was under 200 pages or like just over 200 pages. It's actually close to 500 pages. <laughs> Which doesn't bode well for it, <laughs> I can't lie. Um, I will include that one in the try the first chapter because I obviously haven't read it. I haven't even tried it. I don't know what it's about. We'll see when I do that, that challenge. Um, <laughs> whenever I do it. Probably in, in, I feel like I should do it in December, like at the end of the year. For why we have Yearning for Her by Tiffany Roberts. <laughs> I have not read that either. Um, yeah. 
I don't know what that's about. Same thing. I thought that was like um, a little novella type thing. It's not. It's it's like a full on novel. It's like three hundred and forty pages, I think, something like that. But yeah, there's a guy with with wings and the um, MC is plus size, so that's always nice to see. And for Z, there's nothing as well because I didn't own a single book that had the letter Z in the title, but now I do. The Book of Azrael by Amber V. Nicole. Nicole, not sure. Um, I've heard good things about this. I don't know what this is about. Well, they are gods, they are also monsters. Um, we shall see what this is about. This is a chunky chunky boy. I doubt I'll finish it by the end of the year. Um, I will give it a try. I do believe I have it on my Kindle as well. Um, because I think I bought it at some point. But um, I'll try and give it a try as well because I'd like to try and complete as much as the ABC Challenge as I can. Um, this is the amount of books I have read and the amount of books I have not read. Most of these will be on a First Out of Challenge Kindle edition. So yeah, that's all for me today. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you read any of these books that I mentioned and what you thought of them. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye.